Hey guys, so glad you're here. My name is Joanna um, and this is Howie School. I am a mom of three, two of those kids are adults already. And my younger one who is Julian is not in the video with me today, he usually is, but I'm continuing to finish my series on what we did this year for fourth grade for each subject. So I think this is it, I've done language arts, science, and social studies, I believe. So this is gonna be math, and then I might do one for like uh, extras, art, handwork, and things like that. Um, so as I said, welcome. He is a fourth grader, and I homeschool him. I've always homeschooled him since the beginning. Um, this is my first go around with homeschool. My first two children went to public school. All right, so math. Math is like one of those, either you love it subjects or you're scared of it subjects. I'm on the I'm scared of it <laughs> side of things. It was never my strong suit. So it's been really nice um, seeing Julian progress really well with math. So since the beginning, since day one of our homeschooling, our curriculum has been Oak Meadow. So this year for fourth grade, all the years before, all the subjects were in one book as they were early elementary. So for fourth grade, math got its own book. And it was great, really still the speed it moves at, the repetition the for Julian in Oak Meadow really, really works for him and he is succeeding really well with it. So we are continuing, we finished fourth grade already, we are done. So that's how well he did. We are moving on to fifth grade, I think in about a week or two. We'll start it up. We're just reviewing till then, just in case any there's any little snafus or whatever, but he will be moving on to fifth grade. So um, with fourth grade math this year, we once again really enjoyed using Oak Meadow. We learned, we worked more on multiplication, division, fractions, rounding, uh, you know, weights, measurements, uh, Roman numerals, and whatnot. So this was the, and probably why we're done with it. This is why if I actually stuck to just one thing, I would be done with all our schooling by now. But of course I got to dip my toes into a couple different things. But yes, so we're done with um, Oak Meadow fourth grade math. And I do have uh, his main lesson book with me. And you can see his work in here. Let me open up to a just trying to find a page when we were doing mixed fractions, mixed numbers, and just really improper fractions. He loves to make his main lesson book look as beautiful as possible, and I love that as well. So lots of color in there, and it just really makes the math that much more fun and memorable for him because I we read it, the... We read the math work together and then we discuss it. We work on it t together. We read it together. We work on it together. And then he puts it in his notebooks and he's also writing it. And then this year, that's something that was new, which I know I brought with me. Oh, yes. Which Oak Meadow had, had in the younger grades were worksheets. We're not big worksheet people, but this was a good way to just help reinforce. And a lot of the time, the worksheets had things from prior weeks so he just kept you know working on it so you're just really building up building on what you've learned so i mean we did a lot of worksheets this year like yes these were all copied out of the um math curriculum and we really enjoyed we probably did that like once or twice a week at the most and then they also give you lots of suggestions for games to do hands-on ways of learning math so i really appreciate that and i know he really appreciates that and one of the ways we also did math hands-on, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you know multiplication is something we continuously work on in this house. He's really enjoyed using this. He's been using this probably since third grade. And you know, it's just a multiplication board. It has the multiplication problems through the 12s. And you know, each one has the problem and the answer on the back. And he really enjoys using these, helps him work on his multiplication. And when we were doing the fractions, we really loved, especially when we were doing whole mixed improper fractions and just putting the fraction pieces on here 
is our fractions board from Myra's Toys. I, didn't, I only brought one piece out for you guys. Yep, I did that. <laughs> um, you put the, your fractions and then these are dry erase boards. And so you can have one plus, let's say I have one, um, one and a half equals and then your answer. So it's also such a nice visual and a great manipulative for him to see the fractions that he's working on. So that's been a hit and I think we did we yeah we last year we only had one because we were not adding them yet. We were just working on what were fractions. So this year we had bumped it up to this one and it's been great and I'm pretty sure we'll be using it again next year. Now once in a while just to work on skills we pull out the skill sharpeners you can see he's just about done he's only got like this much left. So just something we work on on some days when the math is really moving fast. Um, he enjoys it, it's full color. It's not our curriculum, it's just a supplement. We stick to Oak Meadow for math. Really, I don't even dip my toes in any other math. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that, but like just for supplements, not curriculum, like we do the CTC math online and that, once again, I put him on there to review things he's learned or if he needs help learning something, maybe the way they describe it in there helps him a little bit more. But again, just the supplement. Same with he does Prodigy on his tablet, just the supplement. So Oak Meadow is our core for math, 100%. Okay, now for fun, to add fun to our math, we have a ton, well, I think we have them all at this point, circumference books. And these are, this is the one on fractions. So they're at the Fracton Fair and, you know, just the colors and the stories are silly and fun. Julian loves circumference. I love circumference. So we have a lot. And we have also other math books by, um, oh, this is Charles Bridge, right? Yes, Charles Bridge Publishing. They have great math books. And we have quite a few of them. We really enjoy, even when we're not working on that math subject, reading these books. It's just fun. Um, for more help sometimes, just like the Evermore, I have these like Usborne activity books. So this is the Times Table activity books. You know, and just has the um, active, I'm just trying, yeah, here you go. Like, and he really enjoys these. And these are great for the car. He can't do too much uh, book work or reading in the car because he gets motion sickness, but a page or two he can manage. So those are great for that. And I think that's it, really. That's what we did for math this year. The rest is like little things we used and let me see, oops, I pulled out my grammar and punctuation book by accident, um, is our, these are the Usborne Illustrated Dictionaries of Math, and we have the Illustrated Elementary, the first Illustrated, and the Illustrated Dictionary of Math. So you can tell some of these are older than others, but I want to say actually the first and the elementary one are the ones we use the most because it's more for his age and in the first one what's good about it is the answers are the way they describe it is uh written simply so it's very easy for him to understand but this has elementary math in it so this one's definitely the one we use the most and it's obvious it's the one we use the most <laughs> so it's really nice to have these dictionaries when he's not sure he can always look up what does that mean go look it up in the book and he's gotten very proficient this year but using all sorts of dictionaries. Um, the next is these wonderful Usborne like math lift the flap books. <laughs> you what? He's right here. <laughs> you want to show your chicken? Go ahead. He has his little chicken in his hand and he wants to share it with you. <laughs> so if you hear chirping in the background, that's what's going on. He's got his little chicken. All right, go take him over there. <laughs> That's a little fun thing to share with you all today. <laughs> we have some chickens. We're waiting for the ducks to hatch. So my house is loud. We've got the incubator, the chicks. The math chicken. The math chicken. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, we've been using these Usborne Lift the Flat books. These are lots of fun. We've got timetables, fractions and decimals, math shapes, measuring things, and multiplying and dividing. These are fun. Um, if you've seen, uh, what's this thing called? If you've seen any of the Usborne Lift the Flat books, that's exactly what they're like. Just math, so lots of fun. This was this was one Julian really, where is it? 
He enjoys this because at the end it has like a shapes challenge. <laughs> so this is the math shapes. So it's one he really likes. So we use those. And then last but not least, it's games. We love games. So one of our favorites at the dinner table is math potatoes. This is by Simply Fun. And this works on everything. Um, multiplication, division, adding, subtracting, if I'm not, mis no, I'm not, no, not multiplication, adding, subtracting, greater than and less than, I'm sorry, is what this one works on. So this is a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fast game. We really love this one. This is a, this is like a family favorite right here. We got, if you watched our um, Rainbow Research Hall for fourth grade for the 2021-2022 school year, you'll know we bought Bumper Car Math, which is a multiplication game through the nine multiplications. This game for me is a big time. <laughs> I did not like this game. I feel like the instructions are vague. We had to kind of make some, up some of our own rules. Julian enjoys it, but because we just kind of make our own rules, so we don't really pull this one that much. It might leave my house soon, um, but <laughs> it's one. I just wanted to give you guys my feelings on it since I had shared that I purchased this for the beginning of the school year. We have tried it multiple times, and multiple times I'm like, no. We never even tried the division on it. We've only done the multiplication. I don't, I don't know if it's the instructions, if it's me, if it's the game. Fail. <laughs> that was a fail for us. Uh, Mathological Liar is another one I got in, in my Rainbow Resource Hall for the fourth grade. And I had purchased grade three, so it would be, even though we were going into grade four, so it would be a great way to review uh, things we had learned in third grade. Well, I for probably for my next Rainbow Resource Hall, I'll get grade four. We do really enjoy this. It's just fun. We're kind of like detectives, and we're trying to find out whose alibi doesn't quite add up. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, we like this one. We have another game that we bought, Mathematical, and I just don't, I, we haven't really gotten to it. And the instructions, I don't know, for some reason, or once again, maybe it's me. I have to see if I can find a YouTube video. But this one we did enjoy. So I just kind of wanted to come back and touch on these games, these math games that we have purchased and I shared with you all. But this one was a win for us and we will be getting the next one. Another, And then last game that we got this year was Climb Climb. This is a big hit. We love this game. Um, you've got your adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying. Uh, it is a lot of fun. We love it. It's another one we play the whole family, just Julian and I, we really love this one. This one, thumbs up. So this was probably, this one and Math Potatoes, out of the, all the games I shared, were probably the favorites this school year for math. And really, and that was, and th that fractions board, if Julian can pull that out, he pulls it out. For every fraction problem, he wants it out. He loves having that fractions board. Uh, does it make it extra time because he's doing the problem and doing it on the board? Yes, but he doesn't seem to mind and he really enjoys having that visual. So that is how we did math for fourth grade this year. That's it, that simple. Like we were on it, um, I think because math scares me, I'm scared to veer too far off our curriculum. And I know curriculum isn't for everyone. Some people are comfortable uh, doing, pulling things together on their own. This year we've done a, bi a biology um, has been the animal kingdom and I've pulled all that myself and I feel very confident in it. Not that I know everything on prime climb just fell over. <laughs> Not that I feel confident, super confident, but confident enough with math. I want to just sort of stick to what works for him. And Oak Meadow has always worked for him since day one. So we stick to that. Is it what's going to work for your family? Maybe, maybe not, but I just wanted to share what works for us and what we did this year for fourth grade. So if you have any questions about any of the things I shared today, uh, let me know. This was really pretty much it for us for math. It's been easy and the games make it fun. And it's just going at the right speed for him with Oak Meadow. I know for some people, they want even more in math, but this has been just right for him. And I've had no need to supplement. As you saw when I did my language arts video, it was 
We're also doing lightning literature. We're doing fix it grammar. We're doing different things along our Oak Meadow. Um, but for math, it's Oak Meadow games and books is pretty much. And like I said, they also give you lots of ideas for games. And that's another thing we appreciate as well with household items. So again, if you have any questions about anything on here, because you know I will keep talking, <laughs> just go ahead and write in the comments. I will link as many items as possible um, below in the description box that I shared today. Um, and I'm so glad you guys stopped to see how we did math for fourth grade. And in a week, we'll be starting fifth grade math and we're super excited actually. So we'll let you know how that goes. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.